Hey everybody, welcome back. And this is part 12 of working with numbers and the operators and methods unit. So we're going to talk about rounding up and rounding down. So two methods, math.ceiling, or seal, which lets you round up, and math.floor, which lets you round down. So up to the ceiling, down to the floor. Pretty, pretty nice. So let's see a, a number, which we'll call original, and we're going to round it up and we're going to round it down using math seal and math floor respectively. So if we run this, we should get 34 and 33. So now let's talk about an actual example, which we have. That should let me highlight the whole thing, but that's okay. And that highlights too much. Maybe go here. Oh man, that is, that is awkward. Anyway, let's go ahead and paste this into the replit. So we have our score is an 89.4. So we have a grade from a teacher who gets it math.seal, and we have a grade from a monster in teacher's clothing. So for the grade from a teacher who gets it, we're obviously going to be rounding that 89.4 up to an A, and for the teacher who is a monster, pretending to be a teacher, we're going to round it down and give them a B plus, even though they pretty much got an A. So let's run, and we'll see that we get 90 from a good teacher, or a teacher who gets it, and 89 from, like we said, a monster in teacher's clothing. So there's our context-filled example. Now we're going to have two coding challenges for this one, one where we round up and one where we round down. So we're going to start with one where we round down. Let's go ahead and copy this over. At this point, this should be, uh, if you've been watching all of these videos, what we're doing now should be pretty, um, you should be well versed, let's say, in what we're doing. So we'll say variable result is equal to the input rounded down, which is going to be math.floor rounded down. Actually, rounded down applies to the math.floor part. The input is num. So then we're going to return the result. If we run this and we get six, we are in, let's say, on the way to good shape. If we copy this and bring it back to the input window, we will be in fully realized good shape. Excellent. Now, I'm not going to read the entire second part. I'm going to. No laziness. We are going to complete a function that takes in one number parameter and returns the result of rounding that number up. Your function should create a variable and assign it to the result of applying math.seal method to the input parameter, then return that variable. Below is an example of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function round up. Uh, there we go. So we'll paste this in there, we'll grab our test case, which has us rounding up 16.8, giving us 17. And we're going to create a result variable, and we're going to assign it to rounding up of num, then we're going to return that result. So if we run this, we should see 17, we do, we'll go ahead and copy the completed function, come back to our input window, and find out that we are in adequate shape. I feel like that was one of them. So anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.